Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Simp here. What I've got for you guys today on the YouTube channel is basically just some tips and tricks, along with some best classes that I'm going to show you guys, just to help you out. Uh, it's mostly just uh, centered for beginners. So if you guys just got the game, I'm just trying to help you guys out the most I can, give you guys some classes, and just give you some overall tips on the game. Today is Christmas, guys. So if you celebrate Christmas, I just want to say Merry Christmas to you. Hope everything's well with your family. Hope you guys are, you know, eating good food, celebrating with friends, having a good time. But other than that, guys, let's get right into these class setups. On the ICR, I'm using the Red Dot site, the Reflex site, along with Grip 1, Grip 2, and FMJ. Grip 1 and Grip 2 make this gun an absolute laser beam. I'm literally not even joking. You don't miss shots if you have Grip 1, Grip 2. If you're having troubles controlling recoil with other weapons, I highly recommend using the ICR with Grip 1, Grip 2. It's going to make it, like I said, a laser beam. You don't have to have any kind of ability to control recoil. This thing right here will shoot a laser out. And for the final attachment on this ICR, I'm using FMJ, as you guys can see on screen. FMJ helps to counteract the gear for body armor. There's a lot of players that like to run around using the body armor. So if you have FMJ on these classes, I'm telling you guys, it's going to help you melt those body armor players a little bit faster. And there are a high number of body armor players in lobbies, guys. Trust me from personal experience. For my gear, I'm using Stimshot. In my opinion, one of the best gears in the game. It just basically gives you the ability to heal faster heal more quickly after taking shots so it, it does definitely is very overpowered I like to use it when I'm not using compsec device and going for my score streaks a little bit faster I recommend stim shot for anyone getting into the game you know if you're beginning now and you're just trying to get used to the game I highly suggest you put on stim shot and just kind of get a feel for the game get used to it it's gonna help you out just with healing and everything like that just to give you guys a little disclaimer the perks in these videos are pretty much gonna be the same or the perks in this video are pretty much gonna be the same throughout the whole entire class setup the only thing I would recommend you guys change is if you're playing in a party, I would suggest you run Dead Silence. And if you're running solo, I would suggest you have Ghost on because there's going to be more UAVs and stuff being called in. But if you're in a party, you know, you don't have to worry about as, as many UAVs being called in because your team should be dominant. So yeah, guys, that's my ICR7 class setup. I'd recommend you stay at long range, medium range with this weapon, and you guys will have no problems. Moving on to the Hades. This is a very overpowered LMG that I've learned from personal experience. Going up against it, it has an extremely high rate of fire. And just having that high rate of fire and just a lot of ammunition in your magazine, I'm telling you, it's a very, very overpowered class setup. I highly recommend you guys give this one a shot. For my Hades, I'm using the Red Dot Sight, Steady Grip, Hybrid Mag, and FMJ. Steady Grip is pretty self-explanatory. It just helps me control the recoil on this weapon because it can get a little bit out of hand if you're not used to it. Hybrid mag actually helps you reload faster. It also gives you a little bit more ammunition in your magazine. And FMJ, as I already explained on the ICR setup, it just helps you melt those kids that are using body armor a little bit faster. For my perks, I'm using the same thing as I was in the ICR class setup. In gear, I'm also using the same thing, guys. Like I said, stim shots just going to help you get you know more of a feel for the game. It's going to help you stay alive, be able to heal faster. I highly recommend you guys use a stim shot if you're just starting out. Overall, I feel like the Hades is slept on. I definitely feel like it's one of the better LMGs in the game. There is the Titan, there is the VKM, but I feel like this one is honestly right below the Titan, a little bit above the VKM. I'd say they're right neck and neck right now because this this Hades has such a high rate of fire that it can compete pretty much at any range, uh, up close for sure against SMGs, and at long range to medium range, it's, it's an LMG, so it does work at those ranges too. So all around, just a very good gun. I highly recommend you guys give it a shot. Now on to a class setup that I like to use myself. I actually used this class setup and got 213 kills solo with it, which actually was the world's most kills solo at the time, but then I ended up breaking that record again. Uh, I wasn't using the gear stim shot, but like I said, this is more of a beginner class setup, so stim shot's definitely going to help you out. But anyways, guys, I'm using grip with high caliber 1 and 2 on the rampart. High caliber 1 and 2 actually make it so it does more damage to the chest and above, so it just makes it a complete melt machine. If you're dealing with enemies that are on head glitches a lot, this is one of those guns that will just help get those, those enemies off head glitches as fast as possible. Then I'm using the grip just to help manage the recoil a little bit because the rampart can have some crazy recoil patterns. So I throw the grip on there. I throw the mozu on there because I had an extra slot available. And if you run out of ammo on the rampart, since there's not fast mag on it, you can actually switch to your mozu and finish off the enemy with that, which actually helps a lot just to have a secondary that's pretty useful. And like I said, guys, the gear and the perks are going to remain kind of the same throughout the video. So there they are. There's stim shot, there's scavenger, there's gung ho, and there's ghost. The Rampart specializes at long to medium range, but I'm telling you guys, this gun can hang up close. I have melted SMGs using the same exact class setup. So yeah, just give it a shot. Don't don't hate on it. I feel like this is one of those weapons that's slept on, but I promise you guys, Rampart's one of the better assault rifles in Black Ops 4. Moving on to one of my favorite class setups in Black Ops 4, 
This is the Maddox. Honestly, it's grew on me. This gun has actually became one of my favorite guns in Black Ops 4. It used to be the KN57, but I'm starting to really love the Maddox. High rate of fire, so it helps compete with SMGs. It competes very well at close range, medium range, and long range if you can hit your shots. So yeah, just an all-around very overpowered weapon. I love it. You see a lot of pros using it in the pro circuits and stuff like that. So it's just it's just a gun that I highly recommend you guys should try out if you don't have it already. I use Red Dot on my Maddox. I know there's some people that will use ELO site, but ELO was nerfed. I guess they gave it more recoil when you use it, so I decided to throw on the Red Dot site. It does really good at low, uh, medium to long ranges, and it actually competes up close as well. I'm using Quick Draw 1 stock and fast mag. Uh, quick Draw 1 and Gung Ho acts as like Quick Draw 2. It's still a very, very fast aim down sight time, so you don't have to worry about using the Quick Draw 2. You can save that spot for the fast mags because having fast mags and, and pub stomping is public matches in general is really going to help you out. You want to be able to make sure you can reload your gun as fast as possible. And of course the stock, just so if you're aiming down sight, you know, you want to have the most mobility possible. It's going to help you move side to side faster. So use stock if you have it available on your assault rifle. You definitely want to have it. Perks, gear, everything is pretty much standard as what it has been. Except in this class setup, I'm actually using Dead Silence instead of Ghost. Like I said, Ghost if you're playing solo, Dead Silence if you're playing in a party. Moving on to the next class setup, which is an extremely overpowered weapon that actually irritates me when I'm playing against it. So that's why I figured I'd include this class setup in the video for you guys. Just do, you know, doing you guys a little favor. This is a very, very overpowered gun. Very overpowered class setup. One two-shot kill. It's just insane, guys. I'm using Reflex Sight, High Caliber 1 and 2 with FMJ on the auger. High Caliber 1 and 2 make this weapon a one-shot kill, basically. So I highly recommend you guys try this out. It's like the FAL from Black Ops 2. It's an overpowered weapon. You can actually even throw an Operator mod on it that makes it a faster uh, trigger. Trigger finger, if your trigger finger isn't that good, you can throw an operator mod that's called double tap. That'll make you shoot a little bit faster. So yeah, guys, definitely give this auger a shot. It's a semi-automatic rifle, so you're going to have to you know tap the button a lot. But I'm telling you, it's a dominant weapon. So yeah, guys, that's the auger class. Uh, play style for this, I would suggest you play a little bit slower. If you're in a party, you can play pretty much as fast as you want. But, you know, play a little bit slower if you're playing solo. You know, pick enemies off when they're running around the map. It's a very overpowered class setup. Just give it a shot. And last but not least, boys, it is the Titan. One of the most overpowered weapons in Black Ops 4. Honestly, in my opinion, I'm just going to say it is the most overpowered weapon in Black Ops 4. I'm always getting killed by it off streaks. It's getting completely melted. For my class setup, I use Quick Draw and Stock along with Reflex and the FMJ. FMJ, obviously, to help melt through those body armor players. Quick Draw on the LMG just makes it extremely overpowered. More mobility, you know, gives you the ability to actually be able to run around the map and rush with this weapon. Stock, like I was saying, for the assault rifles or LMGs, if you can throw a stock on there, you know, just to help with mobility and strafing and everything, definitely throw a stock on there. And like I've already said, I use the reflex sight on this. I'm using stim shot, same old perks and everything, guys. But just regardless of the perks and anything like that, you don't even need the perks on this class setup. I'm telling you, that's how good the Titan is. You don't need no perks to run around with the Titan. The Titan is that overpowered. It's been nerfed multiple times, but it still feels like one of the best guns in the game. You can have multiple play styles with the Titan. But for the most part, I always see players camping in the back of the map and just chilling with the Titan. Uh, do what you want to do with it. Um, I know a lot of people like to throw a thermal sight on there. There's even a, a default class in Black Ops 4 that has a thermal sight, and it gives you a rocket launcher too so you can destroy streaks. Completely annoying, but it's still there for you to use it. So if you don't have the Titan unlocked already, you guys can definitely use the default class. But yeah, that, that's the Titan class that I highly recommend you guys you know, give it a try. See how it does for you. It's worked for me. I don't like using the Titan that much, but when I do get annoyed against people that are using the Titan against me, sometimes I'll pull this class out and just give them a little bit of their, you know, a taste of their own medicine. With all that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy those class setups. I hope they help you, like I said before. Merry Christmas, guys. Happy holidays. Hope everything's going well with you. And other than that, guys, it's been your boy Simp, and I'm signing out. See ya.